Hi guys, it's Jacob from Stringbells here. Stringbellsworld.org being the music journalism site. Links are in the description down below. And we have a brand new song review for you today. And it's the latest track by Gabrielle Aplin. And it's Waking Up Slow. I'm not going to refer to any original article because I don't do that anymore. And if you're noticing, my setup is a bit different at the moment. It's kind of scruffy. The couch is the other way around instead of being against the wall. And that's because I haven't really decided what my backdrop is going to be. Obviously for ages I just had a pitch black backdrop. Which I kind of like because it made the centre focus me. And I'm just so egotistical like that but I want to change it up I want to make it look a little bit more professional but I haven't really decided on the best way of doing that so if you have any hints any ideas uh, what to do about all that then please put it in the comments down below Anyways, back onto the track at hand here. Uh, I thought it was okay. I I've been a, a long fan now for Gabrielle Aplin, and obviously in the past she used to release tunes which were a bit more acoustically based, a bit more stripped back, and she used to have these very folky influences and folky undertones uh, to her sound, whereas she's gone down a bit more of a stereotypical pop route uh, on her recent few singles, which is understandable as long as it keeps what made her likeable in the first place. I don't see anything wrong with that. But when it comes to this track, I thought it was really dumbed down. I, I listened to it a couple of times. It kept tuning back out of it because it did feel very background worthy. It felt very generic and it didn't really feel stylistic or individualized at all. So what make her, made her likable in the first place was obviously not showcased this time around in my personal opinion. When it comes to the musicality of this track, I think it just suffers from being a little bit too plain, a little bit too lazy as well. The song form is very basic, you just have a verse and a chorus repeated over and over again, and the bridge is just a chorus but quieter, you know, with the stripped back instrumentals. You have these very plain pads and synths with no timbres that are that interesting or memorable, they're just very basic synths. And the whole song sounds a bit spongy, It's, and I think we'll get into that when it comes to the production side of things, but it did sound like a droning noise, I guess, that's why I kept tuning out of it. I I think Gabrielle puts in an average vocal performance on this one. I don't think she really showcased her gentler tone at all on this track. And it, I can see why she's trying to change things up. This track has, you know, the basis there to be just a, a regular sort of catchy charting type track. But it doesn't really have the, the catchy melodies there or the big hook. I mean, I can barely remember the hook for this track. I could barely remember the title of this song, despite the title of this song being the main phrase behind this track. And that sort of says something, I guess. Production wise, I think the big issue here isn't that, you know, the parts of the stereo feel missing or anything like that, but the pads and synths are just a bit dull, I guess. They, like I said, they have no tones, they have no timbres that are that interesting. The high ground just sounds spongy, the mid ground as well, and the low ground, you know, the, the bass, which is thick, sure, it, it didn't feel like it had that impact or, again, that catchiness, and that comes down to the progressions, I guess, but still, the mixing could have been improved and at least would have uh, put more emphasis on the actual performance at hand. I think. Uh, Gabrielle struggled within this mix because she sounded quite dwarfed within it because everything is so loud but spongy so everything felt like it was in a really weird EQ and I, I, I'm not a big fan of that sort of stuff. Lyrically the track is fine at best but again it seemed very dumbed down it seemed very generic and plain. Now, it's, it's unfortunate really the whole waking up slow idea is fine as like a brief line within a bigger song but I just felt to base an entire track around this really weak concept seemed very plain very easy to do very lazy as well which is not something I'd expect of an artist like this who in the past has showcased some very intelligent and, and mature songwriting abilities when it comes to lyrical writing so all in all I'm disappointed by this track but it's no worse than your average pop tune so I'm going to give it an average rating of a G rating of 5 out of 10 so if you like this video then please leave a like comment what you think in the comment section down below subscribe to see more and i will see you around next time Bye bye